I don't know, for some reason, the three of us, and I'll, I'll speak for you because it's what men do. Uh, the, three of us, the three of us always thought, oh, they could be brothers, half-brothers. It was something, there was like a chemistry there that, that we believed in, and, and I think it paid off. And, you know, they, they brought a lot of, of the humor in the movie, for sure. You and, and, and Ethan, I want to ask you both about creating your dynamic on screen together, which is so kind of full of, you know, contest and physical fighting and all those kinds of things, and yet there is something that you recognize, your characters recognize in each other as well. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I will say it was a real pleasure to watch it with all of you here tonight, and what you and said to me are, our performances work in relationship to each other. They don't work on their own. It's we're witnessing them that dynamic, the family dynamic. They're, I mean, it's corny, but they are two halves of some whole. And I found it was really fun to watch with you all to see Raymond in relationship to Ray. I mean, you. Your character was amazing. You did such a good job. I, I really I had to say, it. when we were doing it, I, I was really worried about what I was doing. And tonight, I was like, yeah, he's a good actor. <laughs> it, it was just such a joy. We've known each other for a long, long time. We met um, when... We don't remember when we met, we no. know the months yeah. that it happened. There's some blurry Even days. They made a movie called Gattaca with June. <laughs> June and I were mates, and we, we all must have hung out then. Neither of us could remember quite where it was, because it was in the 90s, you know, so. <laughs> but um, we've known each other since then, and we've bumped into each other over the years in different like, occasions like this, passing in corridors on the way in or out of interviews. And um, I've always felt a real sort of connection to Ethan just in terms of his work and the people he's worked with and the movies he's made and the way he seems to go about it and the way he, he lives his life. And um, I've always imagined we would work together and it's just taken a long time for it to happen. It was worth the wait. I'm glad it was this one, yeah. There's something from day one that was there because of your writing, this beautiful, beautiful writing. For an actor, I think you read the script. And, You know, it's so important with a movie like this, everybody has to hold center stage and, and, and carry the, the torch at different points of this relay race. And it was such a joy to be there, and Vondi, to have you come in, and all this supporting cast that we had that buoyed us. And you know, and, and that's in the writing too. Each There's no character that's a cliche. Everybody is three-dimensional. Everybody's a human being, which helps the whole world building. And, it's one of those things that can happen in a movie. You feel like you're completely in your character, and then somebody else is. Well, now I'm sounding like an asshole. But I was going to say, somebody else is miscast, and all things for naught, you know. Like, <laughs> <laughs> you know what's great is that this is clearly the story of two brothers. But Mary Bell and Sophie and uh, Bondi, each one of you has at least one scene where you are the center as well, and you bring that extra dimension into the film, and I want to ask uh, you, who were not the leads in the film, but you're doing terrific work, what was it like to be a part of this ensemble and to work with Rodrigo on the film? Maribel, you can start. Okay, um, actually Rodrigo didn't want to give me many clues about Lucia. <laughs> when I asked him about her, he said to me, I just want to Lucia I just want to see her to, to be many, many women in one. <laughs> okay, thank you very much. So, so, I, I, I was so, looking forward to working with things, so, okay. Vale. <laughs> she did. <laughs> Eccentric and funny and grounded and maternal and practical and uh, understanding. You know? What I like the most about Lucia is that she never judges anyone, and I think it's so important that. Um, I just, for me, I was 
working with some of my favourite actors that I've wanted to work with for a long time. And with an amazing director, and I just got to sort of sit back and watch amazing performances around me all the time. So that was really enjoyable. <laughs> For me, it was great. It started with the script. Uh, Rodrigo sent me the script and said, I want to do this movie. I read it. I thought it was so funny and poignant and uh, just the relationship of Ray and Raymond that I thought was really wonderful. And then he said that you and, 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 um, and, and Ethan are doing it. And uh, then I didn't know Mirella and, and uh, Sophie were doing it until, until later. And um, I just said, great, yes, uh, you know, I want to do this. I hadn't worked with Rodrigo before. We'd known each other maybe 20 years or something like that. And um, I've been a big fan of his for many years. And uh, so it was great to, to, to get together and finally work together. I, I have to say that, you know, I wrote Reverend West. And I mean, and he has specific actions there, and he's a reverend. But I had no idea who Reverend West was until Bonnie came in with that wardrobe. <laughs> and I thought, okay. And I said, Bondi, what? And he said, he said, oh no, there's quite a few reverends in my family. I know who this guy is. And I said, you go for it, right? <laughs> nice. Um, Julie, uh, Bonnie, uh, 